as we get going for race number one. Anthony Bravo, Red Mansion, Sam Foley, that's the order as they go by for the first time. Rob Nelson looking at the inside line. Anthony Quirpo holds him off as they go down the back straight away. Anthony Quirpo then just ahead of Rocket Rob Nelson. What a tremendous start to racing here. And Anthony Quirpo looking impressive as he holds off. He looks on his shoulder. He saw that Rob's there right with him. Number 14, Sam Foley is next in there, Charlie Hudson. And it looks like 93, Steve Lee's got a bad start and he's down there in fifth place. Can he make any improvement on that? But the pace is pretty hot up front, and Anthony Quirable leads Rob Melcham. And again, he looks over his shoulder, Rocket Rob goes wide. Down into the big corner they go, and Rob Melcham's right on the back row now of Anthony Quirable. They've broken free from the rest of the pack. They've got a back mark ahead of them. As they go up in those top two corners, it's Anthony Quirable just ahead of Rob Melcham. There's the yellow black flag coming out onto the last lap. It's this lap warm up for Rob Nelson is he's going to get by Anthony Quirico. Still we have uh, Sam Foley next. Steve Lee's up in the first place and chasing Sam Foley. So we have two battles here. Here comes Rob Nelson. He makes his move. Is he going to try and come on the inside and get on the inside of the the check of flag? He's going to try the inside. Oh, what a lovely game there. Was that a fantastic start to this race meeting all along? Against her, and uh, Beebe for Billy Holson, followed by Spencer Thornberry for a youth rider, uh, Hodgkinson, but uh, then Barry Woodruff, and then 16, uh, Rob Thomas, followed by uh, 102. So, a tremendous start there. We'll give you the official result in just a second. Two, eight, 71. 6, 102, and number 10. That's how they finished. 1-1-1, one, 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 Jeffrey Evans gets a really good start there. And one rider goes very, very wide indeed, but uh, Jeffrey Evans, the gentleman from Wales there, very quick contender, been racing a few years now. A great start from him. So, Jeffrey Evans leads. In uh, second place, Carl Miles. And uh, Carl Miles closing up on Jeffrey Evans. As we have three riders breaking away from the rest of the field. And it looks like Jeffrey Evans may come under pressure now. Carl Miles looking at the outside run there. Cornishman number five, Chesney King just tucked in behind them. Then uh, Lou Cox and then Scott Creswell. And then uh, Tony George, 666. But the front three have broken well clear. Can Dufferin Evans hold them off? Are we going to have an exciting challenge like we saw in that first race? In fact, uh, Chesney King uh, looking at the inside line to come up in the second place. Chesney King moves up in the second spot. He almost lost it. He goes back into third. But no. Carl Miles goes wide. And let Chesney King back in. Now Chesney King senses a victory because he's trying to close the gap. On Dufford Evans. Dufford Evans gets there. Chesney King second. And third, 2-1-1. One, one. Uh, which was Carl Miles. Well, tremendous uh, racing there. Again, for the first, second and third places there in race number two. We'll just run through those uh, numbers, how they finished in race one for you again. Race one, it was 3-1-1, 91, 14, 93, 2, 2, 2, 8, 71, 6, 102, and 10. Uh, it was 1 minute 29, 47. That's how race number one finished. We'll get the official result from the lap scorers for race number two. We'll get the result of race number two be after race three because uh, it's already started before we've managed to get the results from the, the lap scorers. So we get to the and it is another of the race winners, Darren Peel, who hits the front first. Darren Peel rides on the continent quite a lot these days, over in uh, France and Germany. Former Camarden Speedway rider as well. Darren Peel it is then who leads number 7-1-1. And uh, Royce already pulling away. Ben Masters, number 6, over the second place. Then Dean Cutler. And uh, going real quickly on the 250 now, Mark Collins. 
Mark Collins uh, battling away with the 500cc machines there, but look at the, the class of this rider who's leading. 7-1-1, Darren Pugh down here at uh, Spaxton. Doesn't, we don't see him at Spaxton that often, but he's very well here. Ben Masters, number six. Then uh, Dean Cutler, followed by a one two four. David Tricky, who's moved up a place, but uh, out on his own and leading this one, number seven, one, one. Closing on Phil Sims and getting very, very close indeed. And they come over the line. Phil Sims holds him off. So we have a three Cornish uh, outfits uh, coming over the line there for a second and third.
62. Uh, that was uh, Luke Shiner. Checker flag's being made ready. And uh, 
and it's going to be victory out in the air for Lewis Leo. Number 20 gets second place, that's Darren Drew. 2 2 2, Jody Holson third. In fourth place, coming over the line, 2 1 2, Luke Cox. Followed by number 16, Rob Thomas. The result, a win for number 21, Lewis Lear. Second place, number 20, Darren Drew. Third, 2-2-2, two, 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 Jody Hodson. In fourth place, number 212, Luke Cox. Fifth, number 16, Rob Thomas. The winning time, 1 minute 31.01. .01. 1 minute 31.01. .01. Race number 9, event 10. We now have the youth intermediates. This is the first leg. And, uh, well, we got uh, former British champion Daryl Richings in this, Lloyd Barrett, Oliver Greenwood, Josh Dingle. What a lineup we have of youth enters here. Off the line they go for race number nine. And number three, one, one, Oliver Greenwood, who's got a tremendous start. Daryl Richings comes up into second place. Oliver looked like he was about to go a bit wide there, but he managed to uh, pull back onto the racing line, but being chased here by Darrell. Darrell keeps it very, very tight as they come out of that corner. And he's right on the back wheel. Then there's number seven, Josh Dingle. Then 23, Rob Barrett, uh, followed by number 13, Nathan Stoneman. Both Lloyd Barrett and Nathan Stoneman have been racing in the um, under 15 uh, British Speedway Championships at the moment. And that's uh, Olive, Oliver Clark on his uh, granddad's bike just going by. And, uh, well, again, Darrell Richards looking at the inside line. And he's not letting Oliver Greenwood get away at all. So Oliver Greenwood now under pressure as Darrell Richards closes up on that back straight. They got um, Oliver Clark ahead of him, a back marker, as they come into the top two corners. And the battle's on. There's uh, Darrell Richards is going to come alongside. He keeps looking to see, and he comes through. A beautiful move there by Darrell Richards. He swoops around the outside of Oliver Clark. And it's, uh, got, he's got the back marker between them, uh, which means he pulls away. And Darrell Richards now is pulled away from Oliver Greenwood. And uh, one rider to watch for the future, this Darrell Richards. He's pleased with that. Hand goes in the air. Oliver Greenwood gets second place. Third place went to the Cornishman, Josh Dingle, number seven. Fourth place, Lloyd Barrett, number 23. And uh, coming around for the fifth place, we have number 13, Nathan Stoneman. Son of Simon Phillips, the former St. Austell Speedway rider. And of course, Callum already a brilliant champion. And Callum Phillips, it's right to see that Edmund Best is right there with him. So Callum Phillips and Ed Edmund Best are our front two riders. And this looks like it's going to be a good scrap here between these two. Uh, in this one. Joseph Nichols here at number 90. There in third place. Then number 29, Henry Atkins brings up the rear. But the battle is on up front. And Callum Phillips is not shaking off Edmund Best at all. Oh, Callum's going quite wide there. Edmund's looking at the inside line. They're going to be side by side. They are side by side. And number 35 goes through. So Edmund Best is into the lead. Edmund Best then uh, pulling away down that uh, back straight. Callum Phillips here chasing. So those two riders are off of their final lap. And the other two quite spread out, so those places probably won't change. But at the moment, Edmund Best is pulling away. So number 35, Edmund Best then. So Edmund Best then takes the trick of flag. Callum Phillips gets uh, second place. Joseph Nichols, number 90, will come round for third. 
and uh, then it will be number 29, Henry Atkins. So, we've almost got our four finishes, we're waiting for them to finish. So the fourth rider comes in, the result, the win for number 35, Edmund Best. Second, 53, Callum Phillips. Third, number 90, Joseph Nichols. And fourth, number 29, Henry Atkins. The winning time, 1 minute 49.84. 1 minute 49.84. The numbers 35, 53, 90, and number 29. 1 minute 49.84. We now move on to the pre-75s, and uh, Brian Leach will be, I believe, on number 29's machine in this one. Thanks, sir. Try again. Well, we have a full grid of pre 75s here. This one's sponsored by Riders of Bridgewater. Great to see a full grid coming off the line. It takes rise, and away we go. This looks impressive indeed. coming under pressure. Colin Harris on the inside. Colin Harris on the inside, but Good to see Richard Hodson back out there on the racetrack again. Uh, the rear. But, uh, trying to go over here, 
The result, a win for number 20, Darren Drew. Second, number eight, Stefan Maunder. Third, number 19, Colin Harris. Fourth was 239, Anthony Kernock. Fifth place, Calvin Palmer, number 226. In sixth place, 212, Luke Cox. Seventh, 568, Pat Davis. Eighth, 105, Dave Meadows. Ninth, number 10. Andy Hodgkinson. The winning time, 1 minute 35.26. 1 minute 35.26. The number is sponsored by Savi Di Gregorio. We've got Luke Roberts, number 102, going in this one. 
Keith Snelling uh, has won the Open Class of the Swindon Club Championships. He's been going well this season. Probably his best result so far. Well, also watch out for the six men masters. And Dean Cutler, very, very quick indeed at the moment in the... Um, in restricted, but Lewis Lee is going to be out here, number 21. I think he is, yes, dead centre. Dead centre of the the grid. So this will be interesting to see how uh, Lewis Lee gets on against the some of the riders who have been racing in the restricted class over a few years. Yeah. Off the line they go and uh, Rick 
probably not the quickest off the line there. And in fact, coming under pressure from that um, from the third place over as well. So we're going on to the inside. Jim Kerr with Roman Bunfield in the chair. Black man Darren Wells, good to see you back on the cross track scene. Challenging there in second place, Jamie Brickfield watching Bruce there in first spot. The Mark Truscott in the chair. The experienced Mark Truscott, a close up on Rick McCauley. CC machine. Rod Malkin now looking good in this one. Uh, making this look uh, fairly easy. Jody Holton on the free trip in. Morris Jones going well. Been racing since the 1970s. He won the uh, four valve European uh, Ma uh, Classic Championship a few seasons ago. And uh, up front it is Rod Malkin doing the business. So, Rocket Rod Malcham on his way to victory. Jody Hudson in second place. Third place, Morris Jones. Uh, Rod Malcham then takes the checkered flag. Jody Hudson gets second place. Morris Jones gets uh, third spot. Scott Creswell, Faithless 4 or 5, Mark Collins, and in 6th place, number 16, was Luke Roberts at Wheels. Good battle on the back, but uh, not quite at the back. There's uh, 
The result are with the 311, Anthony Querapol. Second, 93, Steve Lee. Third, 211, Carl Miles. Fourth, number five, Chesney King. Fifth place, 124, David Tricky. Sixth, number 102, Luke Roberts. And in seventh place, number 10, Andy Hodgkinson. Winning time, one minute. Well done then, race number 19. Good start there for number nine, Jack Dummett. Edmund Best closing in. At least Jack had a superb start there. But Edmund Best then is absolutely flying. We'll see if that battle develops uh, midfield like it did last time between Tom and William. But uh, up front then, the leader comes down towards us, comes down the home straight away. Edmund Best there. Followed by number nine, Jack Dummett. Then we've got number 29, Henry Atkins. And then uh, William O'Keefe. And uh, this time Tom Brennan back slightly. And then six, number six, Anders Rowe. So number 35, Edmund Best is the leader.
Edmund Best then on to his final lap. As number six, uh, Anders Rowe goes by. His speedway mascot is Anders. Then we got number nine, uh, Jack Dummett. Followed by Henry Atkins. Then uh, number 41, uh, William O'Keefe. So here's our leader heading for the checkered flag. Number 35 it is, and takes race number 20. Number nine, Jack Dummett gets second. And number 29, Henry Atkins gets third. Right, we're ready then. This is race 21. The solo's up to 250cc. then on the 250cc machine. Seems that Jim's got rid of his 250, so we're not going to see a 250 battle between the brothers. I believe Luke Sharner's got his bike. And Mark Collins, uh, Rob Warren. Second and third, Mark Collins coming in with extreme pressure now from Rob Worthy. Rob we used to see in the 500s a few years ago, retired off the scene, came back three seasons ago and uh, he's really in the swing of it again. So uh, Rob Worthy and going round the outside. So by sound as he goes into the pit turns. Mark closes back up on Rob as Rob Worthy out in front, Mark Collins is second. In the back straight for the final time. And uh, that's Morris Jones coasting past us. So the checkered flag being made ready. Looks like Rob Worthing's going to hold on, take victory. He does. Scott Bunker was third. Brian Leach was fourth. Uh, then it was uh, Steve Palmer in fifth. And that's, I think, that's all we got is uh, five finishers. Production assistant assistant. Alan Phillips leads. Joseph Nichols, then Edmund Best, followed by number 29, Henry Atkins.
Gibson coming around for the flag. Henry Atkins goes by. There's the man, Callum Phillips. Edmund Best there gets second place. Joseph Nichols comes around for third spot and in fourth place uh, result will there be Henry Atkins in fourth. There is a off the line they go. And uh, oh, the biggest star is Joey Halsey. He's got a better start than last Tony Hudson there ahead of Lewis Lear. Lewis uh, trying all he can to get around the outside, but uh, Tony Hudson leads and he's holding off Lewis Lear. And uh, he's up, he's okay. Lewis Lear comes from the inside of Jody Hudson. And so Lewis Lear has got the better of Jody Hudson now. And then uh, Darren Hill, then uh, Lou Cox, we've got four young riders out here all doing battle. And now John is coming under pressure from Darren Drew. Darren Drew, number 20, then gets the better and comes into second place. Lewis Lear then, uh, out in front. Darren Drew, second. Jody Hudson, third. And uh, Luke Cox in fourth place. So uh, Lewis Lear looking very, very impressive. Imagine if he had raced in the 250 class as well, he'd have wrapped things up today, wouldn't he? Lewis Lear takes victory. Darren Drew second. Jody Hudson third. And Luke Cox in fourth. on the inside there. Great scrap going on downfield between those two. Wow, look at this scrap going on here. 33, Jack Nelson and Luke Harris, 26. Having a wheel to wheel battle. Ty Dover starts his final lap as uh, Sharon Derrick goes over the line. And then we have Ashton Webb, a one man two, all on his own there. Again, that battle raging for third place could go any way as they start their final lap. At the moment, it's number 33, Jack Nelson. Who keeps number 26, Luke Harris at the. Oh, troubles are Ty Dover going down. And the red flag has gone out, so I think we'll probably have a result. I'm sure it will uh, be awarded, but uh, one more two. That's the line they go. And uh, well, Anthony Cardinals there again. But look at the start from Richard Hanson, right up there with him in fourth place. Tremendous start by Richard Hobson, but uh, Anthony Curnock, the uh, younger rider there who's hit the front and is uh, leading this one. Anthony Curnock then leads. And uh, the 
going to stream through Calvin Palmer again up in the second place. Then uh, in Dutchridge, from the jury on the outside, oh, we've got a runner going down, and that's Anthony uh, Kermit that went down. So now uh, he'll, the chase is on because he'll fight his way through now. Calvin Palmer's taking control at the front. Colin Harris going on in second place. Tony George, the former Plymouth and Romford Speedway rider in third place. And then Ian Guthridge. Ian Guthridge side by side with Tony George and Brian Harris. Brian getting the battle of Richard Hudson. Also uh, Ian Guthridge there battling with Tony George. Ian's had some uh, Speedway experience years and years ago with Leicester as well. But uh, up front it is Calvin Palmer being chased by Colin Harris. Tony Jones and Ian Dutton's going for it. There, so far so. Then we've got Brian Harris. And then uh, Richard Hudson holding off the half gang of the riders. Not bad for an old timer. And then up front, Calvin Palmer coming under pressure from Colin Harris. Colin closing right up on Calvin Palmer, but it's going to be Calvin Palmer who takes the checkered flag. And uh, what a strap for that next place. Well, we're waiting for the lap scores as they strain over the line. A tremendous uh, 375 race. Two, 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 three, nine, three, one, three, two, seven, six, twenty nine, and one, five. As the sidecars get away, this is race 26, sponsored by Chris Blake. Now we're back with the open sidecars. We'll pick them up as they come towards us. There's a great scrap already going on. And it's number three who's hit the front first. So number three is Andy Gribble and Nicky Owen. Joe Stortridge and Lee Toms. And uh, somebody shooting at the commentary box as they went by. But uh, up front. So three. 13, and Jamie Pulley putting the pressure on there in third place. Oh dear, Anthony Paris got problems. And look at this scrap going on for second place now as Jamie Bree closes up. Well, three Cornish outfits here. Andy Grimmel and Nicky Owen. Jamie Bree there with Mark Truscott. Off the line they go. And Rick McCauley this time has got a better start than Phil Sims. So Rick McCauley with Darren Wills, the Cornishman in the chair. They lead the way. Phil Sims in second, Jim Byrne in third place, and then Simon Hill back in fourth. That's the order. And this time, uh, Rick McCauley and Darren Wilson have a bit between their teeth because they're flying this time well clear of Phil Sims and Gareth Bemister. Jim Byrne and Rowan Broomfield there. Still keeping a watching brief back in third place. And Simon Hill, Chris Bovington at the back. And uh, losing ground on the leaders at the moment. Oh, Phil Sims and Gareth Bemis are trying to close that gap on Rick McCauley. They're not letting him get away. So good in that pack straight. If Rick make, uh, makes a mistake, Phil Sims will be in there. As they come around, it looks like Phil's looking at the inside behind the middle change here. And it looks like he's got fouled. He has got fouled. A tremendous race there. And who would have thought that uh, Rick McCauley would have been beaten from the back by Phil Sims. He came from the back beautifully there to take victory. That's the line they go. And so who's got the whole shot? It is Oliver Greenwood. Number seven, Jack Mingle up in second place. Well, Darrell Richards is going to have to work hard this time. He's going to get by both these riders. He lines up, Josh comes up the inside, and he's uh, quickly in the second place. 
So Oliver Greenwood leads, goes out point wide. Dow Richards keeps it tight on the inside. Josh Greenwood in third, now Barrett in fourth. Then Oliver Clark on the BSA. Yeah, so Peter Clark BSA, the granddad used to race. Still, we have Oliver Greenwood. Oh, and Darrell Richards looks at the inside line, keeps it very, very tight. Goes into that for Fitz Towns. And he's putting the pressure on Oliver Greenwood now. He's closed his right up down the back straight. They'll side by side as they go into the top corner. Darrell Richards on the inside. Oliver Greenwood will need to keep it tight. He's gone wide. He's probably going to let Darrell throw. He has let Darrell throw. Richards and goes into the lead. Oliver Greenwood second, Josh Dingle third. Then we have Lord Barrett in fourth place, number 23. Then uh, it's Oliver Clark. So the checker flag is made already. And uh, victory goes to Richards. Oliver Greenwood gets second place, number seven, Josh Dingle third. Fourth place will go to Lloyd Barrett, number 23, and then 377. Oliver Clark comes round for fifth place. Many of the buyers after that fantastic start. He went down. So that's left uh, number 20, Darren Draw, out of 19, Colin Harris, and Scott Fraser. And uh, so we have another one of the youngsters out there uh, learning this one. Colin Harris, very much a veteran these days in the sport. He's doing the chase in there in second place. So Darren Hugh, number 20, followed by Colin Harris, number 19. Then Scott Brazel, Keith Snelling, who's been doing so well this season. He's uh, taken the Swindon Club Open Championship, I think, um, I believe. And he's uh, chasing there at the Mab in the midfield, but up front. And leading with one and a bit of laps to go, it's number 20, Darren Hugh. Colin Harris, number 19, in second place. Scott Brazel, Keith Snelling. And uh, then uh, uh, Stephen Rodder all battling well together. John Charlie Cott uh, from Dorset, he's uh, still circulating there, number 67. As uh, one of the five Dave Meadows comes by. So check a flag, and it comes for the victor, number 20, Darren Drew. Darren Harris gets second place. Scott Creswell third, 44, Keith Snelling is fourth. Stephen Maunder is in fifth place. And we wait down for the sixth place rider. Here he comes, that's John Chaldicott, number 67. And then, 105 Dave Meadows. Hodgkin's jacket. Have you visited him yet? Joe Mogg is waiting for you there. Coffee, teas, burgers, hot food. Pop along and see him in a few minutes time on the break. And uh, well, this is race number 30, sponsored by Munchkin's jackets. Lewis Lear, dead centre of the track. Let's we'll see how he gets on in this one. He's got Dean Cutler against him in this one. Calvin Palmer should be out there. Maybe get away from the tape. And, uh, well, Lewis Lear got a good start, but Anthony Kurnoff also got a very good start, and he's in second place. Watch for Dean Cutler as he goes round the outside of the staggered of riders here. Calvin Palmer on the inside of him. And then uh, Luke Cox just left him behind him. The Dean Cutler makes his way and goes right round the side of Anthony Kurnock. And up in the second place. Lewis has gone. Oh, Luke Cox has gone down there as well. And a little scrap going on here. Luke Cox's machine still on the track. Can he get it off in time as he as he comes into uh, Yes, he's nice to get off the track, which is a bit of luck there. And 
Yeah, well, Anthony Kurnox walked back into first place. But look at Lewis, there you go. Tremendous riding here for Lewis. There's one lap to go. Dean Cutler holding second place. Then Calvin Palmer in third. Then Pat Davis, uh, Kieran Davis is coming. Lewis Lear takes the checkered flag of victory in race number 30. Dean Cutler gets second place. And Calvin Palmer gets third. Well, drama there with riders dropping out and Lewis Lear dominating that one. We've got Anthony Querpo in this. We've got uh, different Evans, Ron Nauchum, Darren Pugh. Just some of the front runners. This is going to be an interesting one indeed. Steve Lee in here as well. Off the line they go for the experts. Anthony Querpo on the inside of Darren Pugh. Anthony Querpo is overheard by Darren Pugh. So it's down here now, Lee's there. Anything can happen. We saw Darren go down earlier on when he was in the lead. Can he hold on? He's uh, up there in front. It's Darren P. 7 1 1. Anthony Corpus coming under pressure. That's Rob Halsham is there for the second. Steve Hill in third. Jasmine King is going well. Then uh, Sam Farley. Well, Duffy Evans fights his way for a place. He had a very bad start. It's Darren Pugh leading, Rob Nelson from second, Anthony Crawford, then Chase by Steve Hall, then Chesney King, then Clifton Evans, behind the end it's Sam Farley. The battle still raging up front because Rocket Rob Nelson's here, letting the Welshman get away. Darren Pugh holds the lead with Rob Nelson closing, closing, closing. And then up to go, then Rob Nelson, here behind Darren Pugh. He's right up there behind him there. As they go into the final half of the race, it's Darren Pugh leading the experts final here ahead of Rob Nelson, and he looks like he's pulled away enough to keep Rob Nelson in second place. Over the line they go, and it's Darren Pugh who wins, Rob Nelson second, Anthony Crowther third, Steve Lee fourth, Chesney King is fourth, and Sam Foley finishes in sixth place, Jim Collins is seventh. Jody Hudson is next, headed by Darren Harris. And uh, then David Tricky. Well. The way to go from the takes. Rick McCauley gets a flying off the line. Phil Sims also going well, but Rick McCauley and Darren Wills go into the first corner. Oh, and it's getting oh, two efforts get tied up together. The rest continues. Jamie Grove in the second place. Andy Grill in third. And uh, two outfits there. Uh, looking to see if the race is going to be stopped. Uh, number 8 was actually built, so I don't know whether they'll stop the race. Uh, we'll have to see. And it looks like uh, the passenger there got caught in the back. Uh, and they're not happy. Rick McCauley leads. Jamie Brewer in second. Andy Grimmer third. And I don't think Phil Sims and his passenger are happy with this. So the leader comes around, Rick McCauley, with Darren Lewis in the chair, followed by number three, Andy Gribble, and Nicky Owen. So drama on the first lap of the sidecars for the Den Carter Trophy. So over the line goes Rick McCauley to take victory. So after that uh, problem there on the first lap, we just had four finishers and a win for number 51, Rick McCauley and Darren Wills. Second, number three, Andy Gribble and Nicky Owen. Third, number 88, Jamie Bree and Mark Truscott. And in fourth place, number 13, Joe Sturridge and Lee Toms. The winning time, 1 minute 18.58.
1 minute 18.58. Wow, you see a, a few of the sidecar competitors having a talk to uh, Chris Carter down on the first corner. Be interesting to be a fly on the wall there, wouldn't it? There you go, well done Rick, well done Darren. So we now have an interval. Uh, so we'll be doing the raffle results shortly, the late when the ladies return. Just to mention a few things, uh, we've got we've got item for sale here. Uh, if you see the go here is it's a 185cc antique Honda. Wait a and there we go then, uh, the of the first race after the interval, the sidecar experts heading back round towards us. between the pairs there for second place Jim Perry on the inside Alfie Perry on the outside Alfie lines him up comes around the outside oh look at this world of wheels they go with those pit turns no family love here oh Jim spins around second place Simon Hill and Chris Goblin can do the chasing uh, it's Rick McCauley running away from this with this one, of course, winner of that, to Dan Carter Trophy. You can see coming up here. So, the checker flag being held there by John. Expert first legs sponsored by New Road Motorcycles. A win for number 51, Rick McCauley and uh, Darren Wills in a second place. Number 14, Alfie Pern and Terry Pern, and third, number 16, Simon Hill and Chris Boverington. <laughs> Let's hit the front first. It's very, very close for second place as the Gorshman do battle here. That's Braxton. Jamie Spotting in second place for Phil Trich. And, uh, well, Phil Sims has been so, so dominant in those early qualifying heats. He's at the back end of what to do. Jamie Bray then, it is out front. comes on the inside of Joe Sturridge. And up in the second place goes Andy Miller and Nicky Owen. Now, Joe Sturridge coming out of pressure's full, same as the lines him up as well. Jamie Bully, Mark Courtney doing the business here, but uh, second place, watch for that second place Anthony, he's trying to close that gap. It goes into it turns, it's closing, closing, closing. It could be anybody's race, he's got the inside line. As it goes towards the second line, it's Jamie Bailey. Jamie Bailey comes around the inside. Out in front. Jack Dummett, a very, very quick starter, Jack, but just drop back. Edmund Best dominating this particular class, coming around towards us. He did tight on the inside. Jack Dummett chasing in second place, number nine. In third place, 29, Henry Atkins. Fourth place, number seven, Tom Brennan. And then we have number six, Anders Rowe. Where's William Ortiz this time? He's not there. Uh, 
Jacqueline Besson leads the number nine, Jack Jammett. Henry Atkins, who's uh, the Somerset Speedway mascot, uh, as you heard from, uh, we spoke about, uh, he's riding at Somerset Speedway after the test match on Friday. Edmund Besson, uh, on his way to victory, pulling away. Number nine, Jack Jumet in second. No change. 29, Henry Ack is third. Then number seven, Tom Brennan. And then Anders Road number six. That's the order as they come around. John has the checkered flag ready as Edmund Bess comes around to take victory. So Edmund Bess, uh, the winner. Anders Road, he gets this place. He goes by the lap down. There's number nine going over the line, Jack Dennett, followed by 29, Henry Atkins. This race it will be Rob Ruby. Four brothers there, one of the riders, uh, for the wheelie, he comes off, that's not much, he's okay. Brian Leach has got a good start, battling there with Mark Collins, Mark Collins takes the lead, Brian Leach right there with him, he's not letting him get away. So we're short of a few two three riders on this one. Scott Murphy gets away, but up front is Mark Collins, who's beat by And then Rob Worthing, right there with him as well. Rob Worthing closing in also too. Remember that uh, Rob Worthing on a power machine here. We've had only those two boys. Mark Collins though. Uh, where I think she is, I think, Glasgow these days. Coming under pressure. Brian Lee on the inside of Mark Collins. Winning time, 1 minute 37.24, 1 minute 37.24.